what are your thoughts on the match play for something? Well, I, I, it was sloppy. You know, we weren't very sharp. Uh, I don't think that we were very uh, good at being ready to play. I was disappointed in our, you know, the fact that you know, our mindset, our brain wasn't really in the right place. And it, and, it, and it showed. You know, we were, the game in general was sloppy. And uh, I feel bad for Oregon State because their setter went down and then another kid got hurt. And it's hard to recover from something like that. But it was, uh, the good news we found a way to win, but it certainly wasn't our best effort. Do you think that, I mean, obviously you had morning matches before, but step up competition to play Oregon State in the morning. Do you think that the start time had an effect on that? Well, it's certainly the same for both teams, you know, and, but the, the thing about the TV schedule now is that you're kind of at the whim of whatever they're going to feel like they can get you on. And so whether it's a 7 in the morning or 11 at night, you know, you got to find a way to get ready. And, and we didn't do, I didn't do a very good job of preparing my team for that. And that's, that's my fault. I need to get them ready, get them going um, sooner. Um, I kind of learned a lesson today. We normally don't play at, at, at 11. Normally it matches at noon and 1. And apparently that one hour makes a big difference. And but you guys really took off in like the latter sets, especially the last two. What was the difference? Like, ended with like a 7-1 run. Yeah, we, we started, I think that we were just better from an execution standpoint in every aspect. You know, I, we, were, we were a pretty good blocking team. I thought we were pretty good throughout the, the match. But we were able to serve the right people. I thought our transition game was a little bit sharper. Uh, and offensively, we started scoring some points. So uh, in general, our execution just was, you know, more consistent. How about, uh, what are your thoughts on the weekend as a whole? How does it, like, help your resume? How big is this weekend? Well, it's a huge weekend for us. You know, I think that the most important thing is that you protect your home court. You know, and we've seen that in a lot of, you know, throughout the league now. The teams that are playing at home have a distinct advantage. If you can steal one on the road, uh, it's going to put you ahead of the game. Uh, next week, we have an opportunity to go to Washington and see if we can steal one on the road. But we'll take, we needed, we needed a win this weekend. I mean, it, if we didn't win, it would have been 0-4. It would have been tough to dig out of that hole. Uh, but now we're 2-2 two and two in the conference and 12-4 uh, and four overall. So uh, got a little bit of momentum going into the weekend. But, you know, it's, the conference is so hard this year. And it's so deep. There's not one bad team in the conference this year. And so if you're not ready to play, like today, we could have easily lost today's match. If you're not ready to play, then you're going to suffer a loss. And do you think this is this weekend is kind of more a uh, more fair indication of how good you guys are compared to because you played so many matches those last heading into those ASU and the Cal? Yeah, the, the ASU Cal is a tough road trip for us. I mean, it was just you know the circumstances under, but I, I think our team is what it is. You know, I think we have a chance to be really, really good, but we have to be really precise. We have to be very accurate with how we play. You know, our game is built on that. We don't have big thugs on the pins who can just score at will. You know, and we're going to face some teams like that. But the teams that are like us, Washington's more like we are. Washington State's probably a little bit more like we are. So we have a chance, I think, to really, if we can really play with any kind of high level intensity, then we'll put ourselves in a position to win this following week. Uh, but we just got to keep getting better. The good news today is we got some offense out of the middle. Olivia and Hallie got a little more offense. For us, we got to be, that's a priority for us. We got to get some, some scoring out of the, 